My name is Pradonia Sathish. And I'm Savan Bardak. We are the hosts of this podcast. In 1829, Edgar Allan Poe wrote a poem for himself, revealing his vulnerabilities and inner thoughts and feelings. He never planned to publish the poem, but it was found after his death. The meaning behind Edgar Allan Poe's work alone has baffled many through the centuries. Come with us to unravel the secrets of the originally hidden work. Before we discuss the poem itself, it is vital to note a few things about Edgar Allan Poe's life. Poe's life was fraught with misfortunes and tragedy, such as a strained relationship with his father and the unfortunate deaths of his childhood love, wife, mother, and foster mother, all due to tuberculosis. Since his childhood, Poe often experienced alienation and emotional isolation. While his experiences held similarity to his peers, his interpretations consistently differed. Alone by Edgar Allan Poe From childhood's hour I have not been, as others were, I have not seen, as others saw, I could not bring, my passions from a common spring. From the same source I have not taken, my sorrow I could not awaken, my heart to joy at the same tone, and all I loved, I loved alone. Then, in my childhood, in the dawn, of a most stormy life was drawn, from every depth of good and ill, the mystery which binds me still, from the torrent or the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain, from the sun that round me rolled, in its autumn tint of gold, from the lightning in the sky, as it passed me flying by, from the thunder and the storm, and the cloud that took the form, when the rest of heaven was blue, of a demon in my view. My initial reader reaction was not a strong emotion. I didn't feel happiness, pain, or excitement. Poe creates a brooding, melancholy atmosphere that gradually settles over you, perhaps after a second or third read. The poem itself is dreamlike in a sense, but with a ring of finality that is reminiscent of someone at the end of their life reflecting on it in a diary or a will. While reading the poem, the main emotion that emanated in me was sympathy. The more I progressed the lines of the poem, the greater the feeling of loneliness and sorrow I experienced was. However, there was also a sense of comfort that Poe conveyed in that loneliness he felt. While he introduces the portrayal of his unique views as negative, by the end his tone towards his isolation becomes almost romantic and is conveyed with a sense of contentedness. Though the idea Poe had while writing this poem was that he was unlike his peers and alone, many readers can find themselves relating to the feeling of loneliness and being unable to fit in. My favorite line of the poem has to be, and all I loved, I loved alone. It reflects the theme of the poem with clarity and raw emotion. The emphasis on the second, I, makes for a stronger phrase that stands apart from the rest of the poem, bringing attention to this line. The dashes between it echo the isolation of the phrase, which is a possible nod towards the theme of isolation. This line is in the middle of the poem and feels like the bridge between the first and second section, the very heart of the poem. Emotionally, I reacted to this phrase and was drawn to it, not just because of how it is situated and emphasized in the poem, but because it is easily the climax of the poem, the most emotional moment. This is also my favorite line of the poem, because not only is it the climax of the poem, like Savon mentioned, but the whole poem is basically an elaboration of this line.